Cyberox. Yo, what's up? Cyberox here. Today I'm going to be talking about ba da 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 Pearl. Right, so today, or pretty much, yeah, today, today, I'm actually still kind of currently working on a lot of other stuff as well, um, like emergency programming. Um, I'm still trying to get down with that. Uh, also, been dealing with League of Legends, been kind of being pumped up and disappointed all at the same time. Uh, you know, some stuff like that. But however, today we are going to be talking about Pearl. So I guess you could say it's tutorial number one, how to set up Pearl. So let's go ahead and get down to it. Let's go ahead and get into it. Um, real quick, something easier to say. Uh, the program you see on the, the screen right now is. Uh, DZ Soft um, Pearl Editor, basically, and uh, I'm gonna be giving you all the links how to go about it and doing certain things. Okay, so let's go and get down to it. Uh, go ahead and load up your browser, and you want to go ahead and go to Active State, so you can download the Active Pearl. Right? Um, it, I have the link in the description, so dollar. Okay, and uh, you want to download whichever one, 64 bit most preferably, um, if you will. Um, also, you'll have to forgive the background at my friend's house. All right, so download uh, uh, Active Pearl, if you will. Again, link down below. All right, now and then you want to go to DZ Soft and click on it. Or again, you'll be at this link, so just download the trial version. Um, I'll try to figure out other Pearl editors, but go ahead and do this one for right now. Um, it's free. Uh, it's just you're limited to 120 lines. So unless you're writing a really big program, you, you'd pretty much be fine, especially for what we're going to be doing. All right. So once you go there, and once you finally actually download it and stuff like that, um, then whenever you get ready to load up uh, the um, the uh, DZ Soft, it's going to ask you um, where is the Pearl, and um, it, it's kind of interesting because you have to actually go. And navigate to your active Perl, which is in uh, the uh, computer, right? So I'll show you here. Go to computer, and you'll see Perl 64. Now you kind of have to navigate to it, but go to bin, and Perl should be around here somewhere. Right here, go to, because um, it's going to ask you on DZ software. So you want to navigate to computer, Perl 64, bin, and click on Perl. And it should just pretty much go from there. And then after that, everything should be all fine and dandy. We should be led to a screen like this. Um, I think. I'm not sure how it actually appears. Well, yeah, it should be like this. But the colors, I actually went in and changed. So I'm going to be going like this. You're going to be stuck with white and black. Um, you can actually go in there and edit it. Uh, go to the very top on the little mini bar on top. Click View. Go to Options. Go to Color. And then you will see the different types of color stuff. Um, yeah, so I just went and basically replaced all the things that are the same color-wise and put it to my colors, which is black and red. So, um, as far as an installation tutorial, I kind of hope that helped a little bit. Um, it took me a little bit to get it down because uh, whenever I was doing it, I was like, where the heck is Pearl? Well, you know, Pearl. You know, I, mean, I thought Pearl came with it. So I'm, I'm over here trying to figure out, well, why the heck did I need Active Pearl anyways? But I guess you do. But, um... Anyways, uh, whenever you load up DZ Soft, it, it's going to ask you where is it. So just navigate, you know, computer, Pearl 64, Ben, there you go. Alrighty. So hopefully you got that up. If you didn't, leave a comment down below. I'll get to you as soon as I can. So uh, let's go ahead and get down to it. Let's do our first line of code. Which I have no idea how to do. No, I'm kidding. Alright. Um, real quick, ignore everything on here. Just ignore it because that's something I'm previously doing. It's to help give me space. I need space, okay? Give me space. All right. So let's let's pretty much uh, get into it, shall we? Alrighty. Um. Let's go ahead and just do a pretty much simple hello world. All right. Just one more. Uh, sorry, I had to deal with some stuff real quick. But um. All right. Let's go ahead and get to our first line of code. Now, um, as you see on the screen, I have something on here, and it says, uh, chicka chicka, or, yeah, chicka boom boom, that's just, you know, for my <coughs> title, or whatever, I'm, you don't have to add that, but, 
let's go ahead and get to our first line of code. Simple printout. All right. So what you want to go want to do in uh, Perl is just type print p r i n t space double quotations and it's kind of like uh, if you've done C plus plus this is going to come natural to you and easy to you. Um, if you've never done any programming before, this is going to be interesting to you because um, at the end of just about every code you do on Perl, it's going to require a semicolon, which is that thing right there. The reason why I'm pointing up is because I am looking up at my uh, living room TV, my friend's living room TV, and I have my little computer right here. So i rather look up than that. Mm. So anyways, you're going to have this little uh, semicolon. It's like that and then, you know, little thing. I don't know. Anyways, this is, that's the semicolon. A full colon is holding down shift and hitting that, and it's like dot dot. The thing you see on clocks all the time, like ten dot dot zero zero. You know. So, anyways, go ahead and do that. Now, in between the two double quotations, you're going to type in your code, right, um, or your message, because print is basically saying, "A, hey, put this out on the screen." All right. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do. Um, Typos, right? We're gonna just put hello word for world. All right. Now, uh, whenever you're in this phase, you want to come up and go all the way over and go one, two, three, four, five from the far right. Go five over, and you'll see run in CMD. All right. I'll we'll go ahead and click on that. And uh, whenever I first got it, it was kind of interesting, but you pretty much just want to click around until you get to this part where it says run and command prompt don't hit anything just hit ok or run um, whenever I tried doing a whole bunch of stuff was popping up I didn't know what was it um, I found a way to get to this one so if you have a hard time let me know I will try my best to help anyways go ahead and hit run and here you go it says hello word sounds like an ancient man I'm so sorry I didn't think about that um, anyways that's your very first uh, program printout on Perl um, again you won't have chicka boom boom is I was just playing around um, I didn't realize that it was still there until like all the way through this so um, don't worry uh, anyways you made your first little printout on Perl so there's more tutorials to be coming about Perl and uh, it's going to be pretty interesting. Now real quick, I want to go ahead and should have said this at the beginning of the video, but you can actually just hit plain run and it's going to load up but in HTML form. Uh, believe it or not, Perl is a programming language but also an HTML programming language. It can go for websites as well. Um, this type of language, I don't know the politically correct term, but I call it a bilingual language. Right? Figure that one out. A bilingual language. There you go. But uh, the reason why I say it is because it can go different ways. I can't say by language because, but you know, it can, it can, it goes both ways, pretty much. It goes HTML or Perl. So, want to go ahead and give you all that. I should have said something at the beginning of the video, but I was too pumped up. But uh, anyways, uh, it's best to just um, run in the CMD because that's all we're going to be doing for now and for quite a while. So again, that's how to pretty much go about doing stuff and. Uh, that's your first uh, tutorial on Perl. Installation and the uh, printout. So, as always, thank you for watching Cyberox. Have a good day. Ooh. Where's, oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm about to kick out. <laughs> Have a good day, and God bless.